No bank will give you $1,200 for parking $100 with them for a year. With a consistent e-commerce presence and process, you can accomplish that and more reselling thrift finds. A key method to success is terms. It's an often overlooked superpower you may be using without realizing it. Basically, turns is investing the same money over and over, turning that base amount into more money each time. That's how you turn $100 into $1,200 over a year, without even reinvesting any of the profits, which we will cover shortly. Time is money, it's also a multiplier. Prioritizing turns can multiply profits faster. A little math around turns and its relationship with time and money. Stick with me, it'll be worth it. In one month of time, let's consider $100 invested in four pairs of shoes. Each pair sells for an average of $50 per pair, doubling your money and freeing up that original $100 to invest again. Do that 12 times in the year and your base 100 has made you that 1200. What if you invest that 100 in a single item and sell it for 200 in that month? You are in about the same spot. But if it takes two or three months to make that one sale, you are behind. Turns is like compound interest on steroids. What if you put the bulk of the profit into more inventory each month? Below is a simplified example that assumes doubling after expenses. It illustrates an important point, so please follow along. If you take half of that profit each month and invest it in more inventory, a huge snowball effect takes over. That base money becomes working capital, money kept in the business for the business. It looks something like this. Month 1, 100 turns to 200. Month 2, 150 turns to 300. Original 100 plus half of profit. Jumping ahead. Month 6, $759 turns into $1,500. See how this snowball is growing and gaining speed. Keep repeating this process, and by the end of month 12, the snowball you could hold in your hand has turned into an avalanche of money. $100 generates over $50,000 in sales, thanks to compounding turns, all with a beginning mustard seed size investment. A month-by-month -month breakdown is in the description. To recap this little bit of magic. Each month, the new base amount was the previous base amount plus half of the profit earned that month. It's never that neat and tidy, but focusing on turning rather than holding money and goods can create amazing financial results. No matter how big or small your business, every item is just money sitting on a shelf. It pays to do a regular monthly review and purge of dead items, especially if you have a lot listed. When you end up with a dud or bunch of them, get what you can and move on. Last year I found what I thought was a steal at a local thrift store. It was several boxes of new in the package with tags, John Deere branded t-shirts, with their logo big and bold on the front. There were about a hundred total, with a little negotiating my unit cost was a little under two dollars each. It looked like they were excess John Deere promotional shirts, probably given out at farm events. No brainer, right? There were only a couple in that true John Deere green color. The rest were other shades of green and yellow. Most were also smalls. I should have paid better attention. The market told me they did not want them even for $5. They didn't even move in lots. Rather than have them sit around taking up space, I cut my losses and donated them back to a thrift store. Balancing sell price with sell speed is a critical skill that moves your profit needle. A few reminders on how to move slow or non-sellers. It's obvious, but run a sale. Auto accept offers at low amounts. Use the promotional tools of your selected platform to move merchandise. Bundle similar items in a new listing. Donate bad stuff to make space. Then there is the huge hidden cost of stuff waiting to be listed. That is dead money until it's listed. It isn't much different than cash buried in a mason jar in the backyard. It doesn't matter if you are buying single items or semi-loads, it's all money. The faster it's listed and sold the better off your business will be. Of course, the more you sell, the more you have to buy, list, sell, and ship. This is how a side hustle can turn into a real business. Money is being turned into more money over and over. Rich people already know this. Knowledge is power, it's also profit. You made it to the end. Now you have to subscribe. There's plenty more content designed to help you find and profit from the good stuff in thrift stores and garage sales. Thanks, it helps a lot.